Hello, this is Juan from Comics on Comics. I'm here at San Diego Comic Con, and I'm here talking to Michael Levine about his new book. All the feelings, uh, hella dramatic monologues for thespians of a teenage. And I'm so sorry I didn't specify, it's Levine. Oh, Levine. Okay. No, we're all doing great. This is, I'm here with the book, got a shirt of the book, guy talking to you, what could be better? Right? Right. Uh, so it, it, it looks like, um, did you, can you buy this at Samuel French? Uh, no, you can't. I think they took, uh, they took slight objection, uh, but you can buy it at Barnes & Noble, and it does have that Samuel French look to it. I, you recognize that immediately. It makes me very proud. Yeah. yeah. Um, great. So, so tell me about all the feelings, hella dramatic monologues for the thespian of a teenage. Yeah, well, I, um, I was uh, doing a lot of thinking about the kind of stuff that Devastator Press does where they have, like, you know, uh, Mega Man books and, like, slash fiction and, like, all these great parodies, and to me, what all those like parodies have in common is they're drama nerds. Like everyone here is just a big drama nerd. <laughs> so like, so like I was like, let me go for that molecule. And I knew there were those like dumb monologue books, like um, magnificent monologues for teens, one hundred one one minute monologues, two hundred twenty two two minute monologues. Guess what the sequel is? What is it? It's three hundred thirty three three minute monologues. <laughs> That is that is crazy. It came out of nowhere. Right. So I saw that. And I was like, I can't get dumber than that, but I will try. Uh, and so I wrote the most like over dramatic like the the book's sort of all about how you don't need to collaborate with anyone in the theater to have a good time. You just need your feelings and these loud words uh, to to read to people. So yeah, yeah. Sweet. So uh, what what was the the hardest thing to write? Now you're you're you're. you're did you make different monologues in the voices of different authors, or I did them in the in the voices of different feelings. So I tried to like think of a feeling, everything from like angry to like shaved to mischievous to drugged, uh, and then I thought of a monologue around that. Uh, I think the hardest one was uh, bummed, which I had to try very hard not to make like a serious monologue about depression because. Like, <laughs> And I wrote one monologue, and they told me they were like, "Publish that somewhere else. Like, don't put it in your book. Like, just..." Pu and I did. Uh, but then the, the one I ended up writing about bummed was about a kid who's like, angry that he didn't make uh, sunglasses for kids with asthma. Like, someone in his class invented sunglasses for kids with asthma, and he's like so mad. <laughs> like, he can't get out of bed. And so, yeah, that was difficult, and I, I think I pulled it out. I don't know how's it sound. Uh, it sounds pretty cool. I guess we'll we'll find out. Yes. Uh, so where can we where we find this? Uh, we are at the Devastator Press booth, uh, EO5. Uh, you can also get it on Amazon.com or Barnes and Noble. Um, and uh, I also am here in support of my book, uh, Oh the Flesh You Will Eat, uh, which is another Devastator book, which is a Dr. Seuss parody. Yeah, we did a long grab. There we go. Oh, thank you so much. Yes. So we got a full. Um, this is. <laughs> This, they make a good companion for no reason. Uh, this is a Dr. Seuss parody about uh, bacteria and refusing medical treatment, uh, which are like themes that everyone needs to know about. Uh, your viewers need to know about. Uh, and any ch there's, a, there's a dead child on the cover. I just realized my debut book has a, has a dead child on the cover. I need to, I, should I retire now? Oh, I, absolutely not. No, I mean, uh, uh, dead children is hilarious. <laughs> um, you know, in context, of course. In context, right? Out of context, not so much. Um, <laughs> that is awesome, and you can also find this yes, at the Devastator book and on Amazon.com. Uh, Amazon and if you buy both of them, uh, you get a free zine here. Woo! Which I, I'm not involved in any zines, but, but they're all excellent. They, they, they are. I particularly recommend Double Fisting is a parody video game manual. A dollar if you've ever seen a parody video game manual. Uh, and yeah, that's, that's all the crazy stuff that's over here. My stuff is the least of it, but come to the Devastator booth. Come on, yeah, you? yeah, Facebook. Come on, get over here. Why are you Why are you being on your phone? There's so much glory here. Sweet. Well, thank you very much, Mike. <laughs> that was That was awesome. Thank you. Uh, and I'll I'll see you at the next interview.